Hey everyone, welcome to the lecture on server side and client side encryption. I am Krish and today we will be discussing about the simple difference between what is a server side encryption and what is a client side encryption. This is a common term which you hear when you go to the cloud platform or basically when you plan to uh, start uh, deploying your data into the cloud platform. But still most people get a confusion that what exactly is the difference between the server side and client side encryption. So when we say the word encryption, so we have a piece of data. I want to convert that data from a readable format and basically which is readable to everyone, the normal format into a format which is completely scrambled, which is not able to be read by anyone. That is what we call as a ciphertext. So converting a plain text or a normal data into a scrambled format or encoded format is what we call as a encryption and the decryption process actually vice versa. So basically what we do is that if I if I have a data which is completely encrypted until unless I decrypt the data I will not be able to read it. So there are basically three components or there are basically three parts for an encryption. First of all team for the encryption we have a data which we want to encrypt. The first one is data which we want to encrypt. Then we have something called as an encryption algorithm or sometimes we call it as an encryption engine and then we have a encryption key file. So basically what we do is we are using an encryption algorithm uh, to transform our data to a ciphertext. So, so what we do is that we have a piece of data. So we will use this encryption algorithm or encryption engine to convert this particular plain text to a ciphertext and it will basically generate a key file. This key file is the most important one. Why? Because let's say for example team now we have a data here. We are converting this data to a ciphertext. So if you want to basically convert it back to the normal data, the key file is something which is basically mandatory for you. We have different types like we have a symmetric key encryption, we have an asymmetric encryption and we have different kind of algorithms. We'll discuss that in a, a, a future lectures. But now I want to tell you about two main things called as a client side encryption and a server side encryption. So basically what is a client side encryption? So let's say for example team, I'm having some very kind of sensitive data and one thing I want to basically remind you before we talk about this encryption is that, see when I talk about encryption, uh, the data is the which we are using the encryption is not for, the encryption is basically not for all the kind of data. We are doing the encryption only for the sensitive data. Like for example, when you want to do encryption, definitely it takes some computing capability and all, right? So you have to do this encryption only for the sensitive data, like for data trust and data in motion and all, which is basically sensitive, you have to do this encryption, either client or server side. So client side means that team, so I want to store some data in the cloud platform. So if I upload my data in the cloud platform and before I upload my data, if I encrypt it, it is what we call as a client side encryption or CSC. So if I basically have a data in my on-premises, I encrypt my data in the on-premises and after encryption, I upload that encrypted data, that cipher text into the cloud platform. That is what we call as a client side encryption. So basically in the client side encryption, the, in the, the cloud concept or cloud context, what we will discuss is, this is basically the customer side, the cloud customer side. And server side means I'm talking about the cloud provider side. So I will encrypt my data before I upload it to the cloud platform. That is what we call as a client side encryption. So it basically gives the customers a comfort that the data is basically protected before it leaves their own devices or networks. That means that so I can have a more trust. So let's say for example, now I'm storing my data in AWS or if I'm storing my data in Azure or if I'm storing it in GCP and all, what happens is that if I have a client side encryption, I have a trust that even the cloud service provider also will not be having any visibility or control over my data because it is completely encrypted before I upload to the cloud platform and the key management and everything is basically with me only. Now we have something called as a server side encryption or SSC. It's a very common thing which you hear always in the cloud platform. That means that once I start uploading my data to the cloud platform and if I do the encryption post, I move it to the cloud platform, that is what we call as a server side encryption. I do my encryption after I move it to the cloud platform is actually what we call as a server side encryption. So server side and in the cloud context, we are talking about the cloud service providers premises. 
okay the encryption that is applied to data after it is being transferred to the csv is called as a server encryption and you can basically check that if you go for amazon aws so what happens is that we have a storage service called as amazon s3 in amazon s3 also you will see an option called as server side encryption why it is like that because when you go for amazon s3 this particular server side encryption is a concept they will support two kind of encryption actually ssc s3 and ssc kms i'll discuss that in upcoming lectures but still all these things are happening after we upload that data to the cloud platform so that is what we call as a server side encryption so in this short video i hope you got a very simple idea about what exactly is the difference between the server side and client side encryption so i'll come with the next short video stream thank you bye